by the power of the seen eye the Lord himself spoke to it was Philip now and told him join this chariot and when he joined that chariot it was the utopian eunuch and that simple obedience brought him salvation because the man was reading and he said please tell me of whom is this is this about himself or another and they began a discussion ladies and gentlemen can i tell you if you do not have the eyes that see your helpers will pass you you will call enemies friends you will call friends enemies if you do not have the eyes that see you will call demonic doors open doors and you will enter them to your destruction if you do not have the eyes that see you can be watching things that will destroy you and enter into it headlong for there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death hear me i can tell you with all humility narrow escapes that have happened in my life and destiny in ministry simply because of the gift of sight meetings i always i almost went that i should not have gone and thank god i did not go associations i almost would have been part of but by the gift of sight many of you right now are in regrets respectfully speaking relationships that were going to destroy you you did not see you call the man an angel until you found out he was a devil you call the woman a queen or a princess until you found out it was something that would destroy you and unfortunately i hate to be a bearer of bad news some of you went further and now you have been trapped in painful experiences that only the mercy of god will help you through hallelujah there are people today who made costly mistakes there are certain courses they should have studied in the university but because they did not have the eyes to see their destiny they veered off and invested time and energy only to find out they may never never need it it did not help them in any way and some of you right now god has given you the gift of children but you do not have the eyes to see their future when jacob was about to die he called his sons he said come let me tell you your future one by one they started filing up and he would describe them and bless them describe them and bless them describe them and bless them hallelujah can i tell you as a leader when you have the gift of sight you will know who to put in what unit and who to put in what department i was doing a, a, a teaching in enugu i think it was a week or two about two weeks ago and i was saying leadership is the ability to combine imperfect people to produce a system that works you will never find people perfect people in your life because you are not yourself and yet you will have to make do with those fragile resources both human and monetary but the ability to know by the power of sight that putting this guy in finance department is a risk no matter how the person he has a perpetual weakness with money yet he's a creative person there are people who are very diligent but they have tendencies of disloyalty there are those who are not creative but they are loyal and all this will be sent to you by God it is your ability to see many people have allowed sentiments to make them put the wrong people you put a man who does not have compassion for the sheep as a lead pastor and then the person does not have the time whether they cry he does not care it's not like he's a bad person he's just not a pastor unfortunately the gift of sight and can I tell you when you have the gift of sight you can look at somebody who is stubborn and supposedly wicked today and you will see the greatest gift in your life and when people say can I, how come this gentleman or how come this lady this person should be out of your school or this person should be out of your house and you look at them in the midst of their imperfections because you have seen what their tomorrow looks like you will endure until you build them and they become leaders who do not have the power of sight will throw away some of the greatest gifts in their life 
some of the most anointed men and women in this ministry by the grace of God if you had seen them when they came they did not look like it but the ability to see the cleaner who is cleaning your house now you will be surprised that that is the person who can die for you even more than your children the person may not be able to speak yes he has tendencies and he's stealing 10 naira 20 naira here but it's just a mindset that was manipulated by spirits the person still has the purity of heart can you look beyond people's actions the sin i will help you to forgive the sin i will help you to know how to tolerate people it gives you the staying power to give people a chance to rise but the sin i will also caution you and tell you this person will remain the same even after 20 years beware now before you cry tomorrow the seeing eye some of you God warned you about many people years ago but sentiments you were wrapped up with sentiments until they now became a plague to your organization a plague to your life can I tell you one of the greatest gifts in my life is the eyes that see the one you see is not the only one I have you can watch people and as you see people you are seeing things beyond what the eyes you can you can be given access to people's tendencies access to people's weaknesses access to people's limitations not to laugh at and condemn them but to be able to know where to take them and where not to take them how to guide them and how not to guide them for me, I will not do what Elisha did. I will not cause leprosy on the person. But I will say, Gehazi, be careful. This is a revelation that you are not ready to receive the mantle. What do we do about this now? Perhaps he would have been called Prophet Gehazi. There are many people today who left destiny helpers they should not have left. Like Lot and made certain mistakes. And if not for the intervention of Abraham, Lot would have died in Sodom and Gomorrah. I know that that uncle may be harsh. That auntie may be harsh. It looks like they always show tribalism and sentiments. But if you have the seen eye, God will say remain in that house. As, as harsh as that treatment is, that is the greatest university that can make a leader out of you. Running around and looking for comfort will produce a weak person. And in the midst of that pain, it is true that they may accuse you and insult you and call you names and you want to leave and God says stay there if you have the eyes at sea one day that harsh man and his harsh wife will call you and say I don't like you oh but God gave us an instruction he said we should build you a house and empower you to go and when you tell people it was Pharaoh that gave you gold they will not believe it if you were in Egypt and they ask you where will you get gold from you probably will say canaan sometimes gold will still come from the egypt that persecuted you the very place of your pain is where your treasure will come from but do you have the grace to stay until you receive it or will you hurry out of egypt and leave empty-handed if they had left egypt two weeks before the time appointed they would not go with the gold that they will use to build the tabernacle hallelujah is someone hearing what i'm saying there are people today who left nigeria and as soon as they arrived where they arrived they knew that their decision was a superior decision because everything showed that their destinies were not here there were others who were blindly copying and they just got up as soon as they left nigeria their destiny helpers got to where they had been walking and they got there where the people were and they were nowhere to be found and some of them with all due respect are living like fugitives in a strange land we are going to take 